Good day. My name is Abolade Alawi. I want to continue on my AutoCAD training. Now today, what we want to do is majorly want to add road. So to add our road, we need to first know which side of the of the of the plot the road is. From this particular plot, the road is at this down part and on this right part. So we have a road that goes like this, and this one is, is another street from this road. So how we're going to do is the distance from the from the from the pillar from the, from this boundary line to the, to the beginning of the road is one meter. So I'm going to click on the line like this, then come here, click on offset. Offset is here. This is offset. So that is offset means I copy or replacing at a, at a specified distance. So after clicking on offset, you see it tells me that I should specify offset distance here. That is that is one meter. I press one, then enter. Then okay. is it to this side or to this side? If it's to this side, I will click here. If it's to this side, I will click this and click here. Now this is my one meter from this line now. So I will now escape. Then I will still click offset again. Why would, why would I click offset again? Because the road is 10 meters from this split. That is, the width of the road is 10 meters. And this one is from here to here is one meter. Now from here to the next, to the end of the road, or that end of the road is 10 meters. So I will now click on offset again. Specify offset distance, that will be 10. I will now press 10, one, zero, enter. Then I will now click on this line and click here. You can see that this is my road now. Now I want to do that here. What I did here, I want to do it here again. So line, I might click. Uh, if I like, if you like, you can click on your on line before you click on it. But I'll just go like this. Offset, offset distance one. Enter. Then click on the line. Then here. Yeah. Then again, offset. Offset distance is ten. Enter. Click on the and this is it. But you can't leave your road like this. You need to know which road is the main road and which other is is the minor road. So for from this plan now, this is the main road, this one. But this one is just this a, a street from this main road. So how would I do it? I'll just draw a line like this. I'll click on line. This is line. I'll just draw a line like this, something like this. Just leave it like this. I'm not going to use this, like, but I want to use it to do to achieve my aim. So I'm going to extend this, and this is extend here. Click on extend. And when, once you click on extend, now now right click again. It will show you fencing, crossing, project, edge, and undo. Now when it shows you that, you can click on what you want to extend to that line. You can see on clicking it, that's extend it to this line. So that's just it. Then you can extend this line to to this line to the one. I just extend so click here and click here and you can see that it's forming my route gradually and you can now escape and click on this then you can delete this line this is erase you can delete this line now now um, um there's there's a road here it's not a close so that it should it should it should link so how would I do that I just come here and click on trim this is string then once, once you click your trim then right click then now click on what you want to trim you can see this is my perfect road. But they are existing road, they are not proposed road. Proposed roads are roads that are, you, you don't, this is a continuous line. But existing roads, you need to dash them. And how am I going to achieve that? Uh, I need to come here, click on the lines. The lines I want to I want to dash. This. So click on them. Others. I need to load in another. Then Eden, the name I like using is Eden. Eden. I think it's not searching, so let me, let me come to hidden. This is hidden, so okay, then okay, it does not change. So I click on it again, so then, then come to here, click on hidden. You can see that there's no difference, if, but if you zoom it, we see the difference. Then you can come back here to the properties, just click on the lines and come to the properties, come to general, general properties. You see the line type idiom. Then the light types the, the line type scale. You can increase it 
you can see the this is the line type scale this is one you can now click on it and edit to five now press enter you can see that it's changing you can see we are seeing it gradually so let's change it to something else again i like this click on the roots let me put it on nine now nine and you can see that we, we are very sure that this is our dashed line not a continuous line again you can still want to go go further by clicking now like this i come I'm, i can put 15 now 15 you can see now wow this this is a perfect work now you can just put a test now click on the test again let me call it Ghani call road Ghani call and space is very well because this i want to use it for the for the longer route now r o a d Ghani call road then you can control hit that is to align here i put at the center then at the middle then like this then i'll put it here you can see that it's not aligned i can rotate it but there's a better way this is we know that this bearing is 281 so we need to know that if we say 281 minus 180 degree that would be around 101 so if you put this chemical root rotation on 101 degree it will fit into the root perfectly so come here 101 degree 31 minute that's for the bearing 31 minute and enter you can see that this is chemical root and for this one too, you can just put any root that you like there and that is it on how to insert the root then the next video we're talking about the templates the size of of, of the box for the, of the template for each scale that is maybe one in 1500 one in 1000 one in 2000 one in 5000 whatever the scale may be and how you know the type of scale it should be so I would, and i will be teaching you that and how to print in subsequent videos thank you